A fresh installation of Windows 11 should be clean, right? Clearly, that is not the answer. You got bunch of pre-installed useless applications and while those apps are running in the background, your system resources are being used heavily. There are some apps you can uninstall it by right clicking onto them, but most of the services you can't just uninstall it on your will. Things like Cortana that will consume lot of your CPU usage and clearly there is no option to uninstall it. And the clear downside of that, a very high CPU usage in idle. So there is a well-known technique called debloating which removes all the trash and unnecessary applications and services from your windows. Here is a quick before and after comparison. Before debloating, my CPU usage was hovering at 70% at idle. After debloating, same system is consuming just about 15%. So today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can debloat your windows. So without further ado, let's get started. All the download links are given in the description below so you can check it out. Here I have downloaded ONO App Buster. Now what does this debloater do? Well this debloater remove all the unnecessary applications and services that you don't really use. It is 100% safe to debloat your windows. And even if on accident if you delete an important application or any service, you can undo those changes by creating a system restore point. Uh, don't skip this video because I'm going to show you really important step so you can safely debloat your Windows 10 or Windows 11. So you can already see this software has detected lots of bloatware applications. Bloatwares are not the malware but they do slow your computer over time. So here I'm going to select all the bloatware apps that I don't really use. And once you're done with that, you can click on remove. Here you got option. From where you should remove this app, you can remove our current user, all user or from entire machine. So here you can choose the all users option and then you can click on OK to remove the bloatwares for all the users. At this point I didn't created a system restore point but anyway I will click on continue. Honestly I don't use Cortana so I'm going to remove that as well. You can search it right from here and then click on remove. Then I'm going to select for all the users. And sure enough, now going into the start menu, searching for Cortana, clearly it is uninstalled and this one is just the search result, it's not the Cortana application. And before we start debloating, let me show you how you can create a system restore point. So just search for system restore and here go into the create restore point. Then going into system protection, here you can select your drive, then click on configure. Here you can turn on system protection. Then select the maximum data usage that you can allow it. Then click on apply. And now you can go into the app buster, going into the action, create system restore point. This can really save you if you done anything wrong while debloating your windows. Now truly I didn't even touch the most unnecessary ones. So let's start debloating our windows. So let's get feedback hub, get helped, uh, Microsoft news, solitaire collection. Yeah, I never used that. Microsoft Sticky Notes Teams, then we got Microsoft Tips to do. Whoa, I honestly didn't realize that there is a lot of bloatware in here. So, looks like I selected uh, 10 apps. So, let's click on Remove. And here you can select all users. Uh, do not use the machine option, it didn't work for me. So, anyways, clicking on OK. And you can see all the bloatware apps are being removed from my windows. I can already feel my PC is running faster but let me show you in the task manager. Uh, right from 70% it's got down to 50% so that's still good but still there are lots of bloatwares in your windows so let's remove those as well. Here I have sorted the apps by storage they are using. While selecting all those apps make sure you do not remove any important app. Here I'm removing things like Xbox stuff and all that which I don't really use. Other bloatware apps include weather app, financial, game center, sports app, then maps, navigation, health, messaging, music and many more. You can remove those apps and your windows will still work fine without them. And the speciality of this software is that you can delete even the undeletable applications in your windows. All of a sudden if your PC is running slower you can surely try debloating your system. After that is done, I rebooted my system and now you can see in the task manager, the CPU usage is really reduced. From the 70% we got down to 17. On other hand, it also reduced the memory usage and freed up lot of my storage space. 
Moving over to the next method, if you want to extreme deep bloat onto your system, you can try this. This is Win11. You can get this app right from here. You can download this zip file right from here. Once it is downloaded, you can unextract the files and then install this one. Now you simply go into the first tab. Now you can click the check button to run a quick check. Now it will automatically detect if there is any problem onto your system. And these are the things that require attention. Now before we make any change, drop down the settings and then here you can create a restore point so that you can always undo the changes if anything goes wrong. Here you can carefully go through each of the settings what you need and what you don't need. And once you're done with the selection, you can fix the issues. And whoa, right there, you can see it's doing a lot of things at the same time. Okay, so now that it's complete, now you can see my Windows 11 looks much cleaner and pretty much all the bloatware is almost gone. It also did made uh, some personalized change like small taskbar and other stuff that I have selected. Going on to the second tab, you can see remove with pumped apps. This is where you can extremely de-bloat your windows. So let's say you don't need windows maps, you can select that and here you can move the selected. By this way, you can remove all the unnecessary apps that you don't really use. Once you're done with the selection, you can empty the bean to delete all the apps. And moving to the third tab, if you are doing a fresh installation, chances are you need some apps to get started with your Windows 11. Here they have listed all the free apps, some essential ones like 7-zip, maybe a notepad, then browser. So select your all the necessary required apps and then create the package. I really like this method to install the apps because in one click you can install all the apps that is really time saving. And going into the fifth tab, you can automate a task with Power UI. Uh, you can do things like uninstall apps, maybe remove one drive. That may be a tedious task to do manually. You can do this one very easily in one click. Maybe disabling a service, clean up your windows, then bypass edge as a default web browser. Such kind of tedious task you can do in pretty much one click. Also you can disable TPM 2.0 checks. If you are running onto Windows 10 and wanted to upgrade to Windows 11, this might come really handy via Windows 11 installation. After a quick little reboot, I can truly feel my PC is running faster. My CPU usage is just about 14%. Uh, before it was like 70 to 80 percent at idle so i'm pretty happy with the results if you got a budget pc that is running with low end hardware you can truly run your system faster by debloating your system now granted debloating do make your pc faster just make sure you don't uninstall any of the necessary application to run your windows with that being said i hope you found this video helpful make sure to hit that like share this video subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next one